Hi there, people. It's another uh, another week of Wheel of Ben. It's Thursday night, and we've we've um, we've ended up in, in my flat actually uh, in North London uh, to look ahead to um, this weekend's football. Uh, I'm with the main man, <laughs> Sport and Met Mark, aka Mark O'Hare. How's it going, Mark? Aka uh, very well, thanks, Chris. Nice yeah. one. Good, good week. Mark. Yeah. yeah. Profitable. Uh, yes, it was actually Serie A. Very good to me on Wednesday night. So I can't complain. Nice one. Um. So it's a strange week this week because of course there's no League One and League Two action. So it's a shame, you know, Hartlepool can't lose again in the league. You maybe lose again in the cup, but um, but it's FA Cup first round week. You know, there's some extraordinary teams playing. Um, you know, Metropolitan Police. Yeah, the police are playing. Police are playing. Slough Town are playing. Slough Town, amazing. I, I just One love my local the, teams. Love the names. Love the names. Slough Town. Um, used to used to be the conference, huh? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Anyway, let's team. Yeah, let's kick on that. Uh, you've got you've got two for the championship and one from the the FA Cup first round. Yep. Uh, we'll start with the championship. Okay. Um. um okay. We'll start with uh, Hull City against Barnsley. Um. And I'll be the first to admit that I uh, don't like Steve Bruce. Um, I don't really <laughs> rate him as a manager either. Uh, but he's proven me wrong. At the I, I think you're wrong. Uh, yeah. I do. I like Steve Bruce. I, really I, do. Yeah. I think he's an idiot. But yeah. um, I actually read uh, Simon Jordan's book. Yeah. Um And. Steve Bruce is one of the few people to come out with with a lot of credit. He he does like Steve Bruce, so why don't you? I mean, just big nose, big ears. He's a big boy. Just mm-hmm. talks like he's about seven big max. <laughs> he does <laughs> before just, every interview. Just talks like golf as well. All but the time. he sweats a lot as well. Oh. Anyway, we'll push on. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, he's he's proved me wrong. And if there's one thing Hull provided in the last couple of years, it was a real sort of defensive solidity. They were very hard to beat, very mean. Uh, Pretty unattractive on the eye as well, mm. which stop talking with Steve Bruce <laughs> <laughs> or Hull. Um, so it's <laughs> and, um, but fair play to him; he's come in and he's he's injected this more attacking philosophy, um, which I haven't actually seen in evidence in his previous jobs before. But Hull are playing a lot more fluency, mm. and they've actually got plenty of ball playing midfielders as well, so they can play that way, and, and it's it's been quite profitable for them too. And they scored twenty goals in thirteen Championship matches. Okay, which doesn't sound too Exciting, but if you if you dare if you go away from that um, last year in, in the league, only three sides scored fewer goals than them in the whole season. Wow. Two of them were relegated, so uh, there is a bit of a sea change there at the KC. They won four of their six games at home too, with thirteen goals scored. Um, they've, they've lost twice. Uh, Peterborough came and did a huge smash and grab at, at Hull. It was a completely one-sided match, but Posh came away with a three-one win, uh, and Blackpool won a, a shootout there, three-two. So um, if you're looking at the stats, Hull do look a good team. Um, they always have been in the Championship level, um, and then you look at their opposition, Barnsley. Um, Keith Hill working absolute wonders there. It's, it's got to be said they're on a very very slim budget. Did an excellent job at Rochdale. He's carrying that on at, at Barnsley too. And um, but they have hit a bit of a sticky patch. Um, just the two league wins since the first of September, beaten by Forest four one at home uh, last week, which is uh, a bit of a kick in the teeth. And they've lost four of their six away games too. Um, Huller eight to eleven, and to me, yeah. it's a little bit short, but it's it's, it's a fantastic price for a team yeah. like Hull to be Barnsley. And Sonia Sonia Lucas impressed me actually. He is, he is. He's a pretty well on Saturday, but Keith Hill and I know you. I mean, I think we'll look back in five years' time and see Barnsley were they in the championship really? Mm. And I think it's, it's a great testament that they've stayed in this division for the last what's well a long time now, a yeah. year, huh? yeah. And you know, Keith Hill just fits that job perfectly. Northern gritty, mm. yeah. Unattractive. <laughs> He's just exactly. perfect for Barnsley, isn't he? Best looking anyway. chap. <laughs> um, championship again, and you've, um, you've, um, you've Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. What about them? I'm not going to put them up. For, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, they're playing. Uh, they're playing Peterborough, uh, Hillsborough, and uh, this. This is. I have to mention this. Six weeks ago, Peterborough were bottom of the Championship table uh, and lost seven matches on the trot. Um, fast forward six weeks, uh, they're out of the relegation zone. And collected four wins from the last six, and they're sitting above Sheffield Wednesday. Wow. Yeah, Yet yeah. they're ten to eleven double chance uh, at Sheffield Wednesday. It makes no sense to me. Um, quite a remarkable turnaround. And um, I'm going to pick on another manager here because Darren Ferguson, Fergie. I, I don't really rate him either. I'd rather reserve judgment on him um, until the end of the season if he makes it that long, because I, I think he's still probably living off his father a little bit too much. Um, I'm still waiting to be proved that he's, he is anything special, but. Fair enough, the, the recent turnarounds is, is quite impressive. They're 16-5 to, to win the match itself, but I'm going to 
choose a 10 to 11 on the double chance, or you get paid if, if posh avoid defeat. Uh, why? Well, those four wins actually came against Hull, Barnsley, Huddersfield and Derby, and they all came by at least a two-goal margin, which is uh, extremely impressive. Uh, sandwiched in between there were, were the very narrow defeats at Forest and Watford, um, especially at Watford, they were very, very unlucky. It was a stoppage time winner, I think, for, for Watford from penalty spot. And the aggregate of those games are actually 11-4 to in Posh's favour. So, full of goals again. Uh, on the other hand, Sheffield Wednesday, uh, they beat Ipswich 3-0 last weekend, which uh, on the surface looks alright, but if you think about it, Ipswich are the worst team in the Championship at the moment. They're absolutely terrible. Uh, you can't say you, you can't sum up how bad it's which are at the moment. But Matt McCarthy, that's a good yeah. point. That's a super. That's point. exactly what they need at the moment. But it's come. It's come a week too late. Uh, before what that win against Ipswich, Wednesday had picked up two points from a possible twenty-seven, um, been hammered at home by Huddersfield, Bolton, and Hull. Of course, they drew that in famous game with Leeds as well. Um, last week was their first clean sheet of the season. Um, uh, Dave Jones is talking about it as being a turning point. I'm not sure it is. I think they're in for a season of struggle, and I think Posh are fantastic value. So let me get this straight. You hate Dan Ferguson, you think he's rubbish, but you're tipping up his side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're a man of contradictions, Mark, <laughs> here. You really are. Um, now, it's it's 50 minutes for the American Music Prize when I was announced, and I'm really hoping Fuel Music win. And by the time you watch this, they may already have a massive gamble on me. I like, I'm passionate about field music. You're passionate about <laughs> I'm serious. Fi- it's going FC Fylde. <laughs> Fylde. Field. 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 Not a band, but a football team. Explain. Okay, I'm going to have to read from my notes a bit here because admittedly I don't know too much about them. And I did a bit of digging. Uh, and these these guys seem like the, the best of the, the FA Cup. I'm not usually one to go and, and actually back the, the outsiders, the little teams, uh, mm-hmm. look for the upsets because I think more often than not they don't happen. So you're better to stick with the bigger teams in the, in the better divisions. But they're playing Accrington Stanley. Um, a little bit about Field or Fylde, however you say their names. <laughs> um, they've been flying up through the divisions at the moment. Um, and they're actually playing in the the Evo Stick League, which is the Northern Premier. Um, they've been boosted by quite a lot of financial investment. They've got previous Wembley experience. They won the FA Vars in 2008 when they were uh, Kirkham and Weston back in the old days. Um, um, they're 10th in the table, 10 points behind the leaders, but they have got four games in hand because yeah. of this FA Cup run. Wow. They beat Stanley 6 0 in pre season, um, and they're 6 to 5 to avoid defeat at home against Stanley in the double chance market at Sporting Burt. Um, after a superb start to the season, Stanley have really sort of hit the skids recently. Um, of course, Paul Cook jumped ship, quite surprising, I thought, mm. to, to join Chesterfield. Uh, Liam Richardson's just been appointed today as their new manager. He's only 32, was Cook's assistant. Um, Immediately you've got to question a rookie manager at 32, whether he's up to the task, and especially your first game away at a, a non-league team Eddie, like this. Eddie Howe as well, yeah. Question on him. <laughs> I like Eddie Howe. Always, we all do. Accrington beat Bristol Rovers 1-0 in the last match to end a four-game losing streak, um, but they lost three of the last four away days and conceded 13 goals in those four games as well. Um, and actually a little bit of FA Cup statage here for you too. Aki have won just one and lost six of the last eight away trips in the FA Cup. Um, and something else for you here, field, yeah. filed, whatever you want to call them. And they're managed by Dave Challoner. Do you remember him? Long throw specialist from Tramble. I Tramier. don't know. That was probably the, the sort of nine-year period when I stopped watching football. Right? Tramier got to the League Cup final. 2000? Don't know. But I think, or 99. Yeah. yeah. Liverpool played Liverpool always. Yeah. Whenever Liverpool win trophies, they beat... Teams. It'd be like second tier teams in the final. Right? That was one of the occasions. So. Dave Challenger, the manager of, of Filed, six yeah. to five. Nice one. Um, you're passionate about Filed, I'm passionate about Field Music. What's your three best bets? Uh, filed, six to five, double chance against Accrington. Posh, double chance at 10 to 11 at Sheffield Wednesday. And Hull at eight to 11 to beat Barnsley.